banana peanut butter. I want it right now. Banana peanut butter. Banana peanut butter. Banana peanut butter. I want it right now. Banana peanut butter. When I get hungry and I really need a snack, and my tummy starts growling like it's going to attack, I turn to my daddy and I say, Hey, dad, hand me a banana, pretty please, and just a tad of peanut butter on a spoon. Make it quick, make it soon. I let you get it ready while I sing this tune. Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, I want it right now. Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, I want it right now. Banana peanut butter. If you've never had this combo, here's what you gotta do. Next stop, Flavor Town, population two. Grab a ripe banana and a jar of peanut butter. Get yourself a knife and go absolutely nutter. Spread it real smooth like the icing on a cake. Big bite, dance it out, do the BP shake. Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter. I want it right now. Banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter, banana peanut butter. What's up? Doing, doing, doing. It's a week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Bianca and Andy's like around here. So oh, there he is. Uh, there he is. Hi. There he is. Whoa. Behind all the McFarlane. All right, we got Luke behind the camera. We got Jess working the wheel. Hey. Working, hanging, hanging working, that, the wheel. working looking, that wheel. Working that wheel. Looking for um, some potential prize winners, if I can speak. Um, all you need to do to possibly win one of these two wicked prizes, our pop culture exclusives that dropped this week, you need to participate in the chat, ask us a question, drop a comment, tell Jess she's pretty, get her attention, and uh, you might get on the wheel and you might win one of these. Pretty sweet! Your very own little Frodo Baggins or your very own little mm. battle-torn mm. Wolverine. So mm. we're 50 years of Wolverine, can you believe it? That's insane. Yeah, I can believe it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to show you we guys. We, As you can see, we have a wall of Funko, we have a wall of McFarlane, we've got heaps of other cool stuff too. Like an Andy, we've got an Andy right here at the table. Uh, he's here he's to, he's here to tell you about a bunch of stuff. We don't have any sales to tell you about this week, um, but uh, do keep an eye on the space holders from the Warehouse Out of Space section on the website because mm -hmm. new things are hitting that all the time. Uh, so if you're looking for some good priced items, uh, that is the place to to be. Mad yeah. savings. Mad yeah, yeah. savings to be found there. Yeah, a bunch of hot toys have dropped in there. Hot toys. <laughs> yeah, like today, right? Six savings. Today. Yeah, they've yeah. in there today. A so whole bunch. Uh, keep your eye on that uh, over the weeks um, and months going forward. Yeah. That is that is the home of. Um, you know, reasonably pr priced collectibles. Yeah, I would go so far as hot prices. Hot yeah. prices yep. for hot toys. Sure is. Hot, Some real hot, hot prices. Hot stuff. Uh, but we've got a bunch of new things to tell you. We do. Um, about? Where would you like to start, Andy? I uh, do, 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 don't know. Records. Records? Yeah. Oh, we're jumping into that straight away. Yes, Would you like me to model, Jess? Yes. All right, Patty. Hello. Hello, it's me. Poi, Poi. I'm just turning the microphones down. Poi. Oh, oh. Because we're clipping. All right, first up on the records, we have Livia Rodrigo with her second album, Guts. Uh, oh, yeah. This is an uh, iconic, pretty much. Like, she's the new pop queen, to put it bluntly. Olivia Rodrigo, she is, she is. Um... She likes to color purple. So this uh, album has tracks such as Vampire, which was the lead single off the album, as well as Getting Back and Bad Idea Right, which is very popular on TikTok. But this is a really cool album. Definitely check it out if you want to suss out the new pop queens. There you go. Party. Who this? Next up, we've got Lola Young with her debut album. Yeah, that's uh, debut, um, debut. She's like pressing up some against some glass or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's something. Um, she's a UK-based um, alternative slash indie artist, um, and this is kind of like the way I describe her music is like grungy spoken word, in a way. Um, oh. Kind of gives me like female Sleaford mods, but kind of more about like. Growing up in the UK, the human condition, heartbreak, and all those things like that. I just mm. really love the album cover. I think it's really cool. It's got some, a lot of bling. A lot of bling. 
And then, yeah. Mm. Really, really cool. Hand numbering. Oh. Hand awesome. numbering. Limited cool edition. Stuff. Limited edition. Limited yeah, edition. I got this one. This is Boy Genius. Uh, so, Boy, the Boy Genius uh, self titled EP. So, the fun fact about this one is Boy Genius. So, Lucy Dacus, uh, Phoebe Bridges, and Julian Baker. Julian Baker. They were all put together to on a tour to support each other. And they were originally just meant to make a seven inch vinyl. So, just one song to kind of commemorate that. But then they turned out. That they all like each other and they all liked how they made music. So that seven inch turned into a full mm. six track EP, which is this oh, yeah, self-titled yeah, boy me. genius. Um, it is an indie rock sound for the sad girl and all of us. Yeah, uh, this is the these are the heavy hitters of contemporary indie yes. female ballads. So uh, get Gets on. Uh, Bianca. Oh no, we're going to <laughs> Followed <laughs> by another heavy hitter in the uh, indie scene. It's <laughs> Avril Lavigne, and this is really cool because this is her first greatest hits compilation. Twenty smash hits. Yes. From all... every album era. Wow. It's all the so it's got everything from Skater Boy to Machine Gun Kelly, um, um, and it's pressed on neon green vinyl, which is what really are... cool. And we've also what? just got a bunch of knees. Her... Knees. Those are her knees. Oh. We've actually got a bunch of her albums, and I'm pretty She's a certain boy. that we have her whole discography in <laughs> stock. Get yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just uh, we just reordered it all. Yeah, so definitely Skater check Boy, out if you got girlfriend. Got... What the hell? Complicated. Ah, oh, my happy ending. Ah, oh, there's some bangers. Bangers, yeah. bangers, bangers all around. Some real bangers. Twenty smash hits. Check it out. And then Bianca's got one that she's really excited to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. This is uh, my youth right here. Some of my youth, anyway. I got a record that is going to get you living La Vida Loca and shaking your bon bon all night long. <laughs> It's Ricky Martin's oh. self-titled first yeah. album. This was released in 1999, so you can party like it's 1999 to the cup of life, and she's all I ever had, Spanish eyes, all that. So 25-year pressing of this. You have Lovely one. man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love this man. I love his music. I don't care what anyone says, and you should get it. Definitely a real good one to have in your pop Latin Ricky music Martin. collection. There it is. Yeah. There it is. You get the Spanish version of Living La Vida Loca as well. Upside. It's very important. Yes. Yeah. Multilingual. Multilingual. Yeah. I'll stop. Right. And that's all for records. Just a Ricky fangirl over here. Uh, we got some new drops from Color Bars. We sure do. Yeah. We that's have... actually a set okay, right well, here. This is not a good way of just Yeah, but it. check it out. <laughs> This is what you will display right. yeah. once you unpack these decks and pop them right next to each other. Oh, Good yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, very cool. So, uh, new Great order, album. New Order album cover. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, top of the deck, you get the, the full album picture, and then combine these two to create um, a, a, I guess, a snapshot of the floral artwork yeah. from the album. It's kind of fun. Cool. Uh, definitely meant for an art piece, that one. And we mm. also have a shirt here too. Yeah. There we got that. Yeah. And of course the real good yeah. stuff's on the back. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There yeah. it is. Real good. Nice. And uh, we got another board yeah, yeah. over so there. So you might be thinking, you know what, I've always wanted a skateboard but I've never found the perfect one. Well, uh, what if I was to tell you that you can now get a very Ray Liotta skateboard oh. uh, from Goodfellas. This is it. This is the hottest item that we're ever going to get in um, ever. It's Ray Liotta. Um, yeah. Nipple bolts. Nipple, <laughs> nipple bolts. You, you, you skate along, you can see it peeking at you. Ravey peeking. Um, and uh, you'll be peeking uh, every minute that you're writing this. Um, three decades of life in the mafia. Goodfellas, color bars, what a collab, what a film. Uh, I like it, Luke likes it. I do. Bianca hasn't seen it. She but, would like uh, it. Uh, she'll like it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got a T-shirt to go with it too. Ooh, check it out. Yeah. Hey. But of course, good, Don't burn that real sauce. good scene on the back too. Ooh. Yeah. What's yeah. That guy? Huh? Joe Pesci. What? Yeah. It's a guy on the left. He's in a bunch of stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what. An Arguably, actor not does. as many as really other though. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Both really famous actors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got some spooky shit. Um. <laughs> They're daddy bears. Daddy bears. Yeah, uh, man. If you're just if you're thinking, you know what, I like teddy bears, but they don't. They're not really dead tickle my morbid curiosity. They're well, not we have uh, a line that's really going to do it. It's daddy bears. Um, I don't know. How are you going with that zip? Andy? It's really stuck. <laughs> um, they come in a body bag, um, which is a fun packaging yeah. design. I yeah. really appreciate it. 
Uh, this is Day of the Dead themed one, which is really cool. They That's are kind of like squishmallows, soft. Yeah, they're really yeah, okay. soft. Really squidgy. Yeah. I like this one. He's like a shark, and he's. They come with autopsy reports, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is really cool. Which, so we got like Howler. So I guess he's like a werewolf. Four um, bullet holes in body. Yeah. Only three silver bullets found. Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. Have their blood uh -oh. types and everything. Someone too. didn't use one more right <laughs> bullet. That means he's going to come back to life. Whereas this one is a uh, Muerto Bear. Yeah. Um, and Mueto Bear uh, died from moonwalking off a cliff during a full moon. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. No. We've got this guy too. Like Check a out Saturday this guy. Night at so we got what Frank is with these His blood type is green goo, and he has multiple causes of death. Yeah. That's wow, they very really phoned man. it in on that one, didn't uh, they? Yeah. Because he's stitched together out of multiple people. What because is Frankenstein? What is happening? <laughs> No, it's it's. Some of them are point. tagged into the yeah, bag. Right. If anyone should have a good zip game now, mate, from like zipping up bags, yeah, it's, uh, it's you. It's true. I am um, zipping up a lot of body bags at the moment. Hmm. Uh. In the meantime, let's take a look at Zombat. This is pretty cool, right? He's got all embroidery and stuff. So he his blood type is other people's. Mm -hmm. Appropriate. Got blinded by bright lights and flew against the wall. Splat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's Beazle Bear. Like, uh, Beazle Bob. Yep. Uh, blood type is molten. Uh, burned in Hellfire while down there to sell his soul. That's cool. You said burned, yeah? Burned. Yep. Burned. 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 We got uh, frostbite. B positive vibes is his blood type and froze to death overnight. Okay. That would suck. That'd be mm. the worst death, in my opinion. Mine, like Bon Scott Bear. <laughs> Um, we got, uh, we got Vambear, um, it's a vampire. Oh, did we already do this one? No. No. Oh. No, we haven't. Blood type, other people's. Uh, no, very, it's because the last one was a bat one. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sharp, uh, wooden stake to the heart. Here he is, um. Does he have a little wound on the chest? Come on. No. Ah, oh, missed See, opportunity. That is, that is a shame. They could really that would been awesome. do it from how they died, but yeah. they haven't done that. This one's pretty good though. It's cute. It's Dolly, right? Blood type OMG. And she died because allergic reaction to her own blood type. So what, she's like snacking on herself? Or like I don't know. Juicing? But we got uh, we got <laughs> Tufa. Uh, fell down a chasm into chasm into the earth. Uh, chasm. chasm. <laughs> Blood type vine. Uh, it's a two, two, two for one dealio. Uh, it's uh, Two Face it's from two DC. It's Two Fur from um, Daddy Bears. Does <laughs> it come with a coin? Uh. We got Bundle here. His blood type is congealed and cause of death is bandages too tight around face causing eyeballs to pop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, zombie. Um, blood type rotten. Uh, damage to Ooh. brain and body by zombie virus. Caused by a large bite on left leg. Let's see if this guy has a large bite on his left leg. Need to know. Come on. <laughs> ah, checks out. That's Stitched good. It up. That's, That's good. Neo. That's good. Zombie. Like it. We've got bones here too. Ooh, I like bones. Check it out. Skeletal. He's got a bony body and everything. Uh, no blood. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, hit by a shopping trolley and fell apart. 206 pieces. <laughs> 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 fell that, apart. That's the a good language. One. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> um, that, what is this? I think it's a ghost, but. <laughs> what is this okay. one? Let's read the autopsy report and find out if this is a ghost or if this is <laughs> oh, something else. Uh, traces are O positive. That doesn't help say it. <laughs> Help us. Uh, dissolved into at least a thousand tiny particles. Still doesn't help. Uh, accurate number not available. Spectre. I'm assuming it's a ghost and not... Ectoplasm. A sailor. <laughs> I like his body. <laughs> <laughs> we also have tiny little plush clip-ons and these are mystery units. Mystery units. Yes. Yeah, so Blind bags, baby. Blind... Daddy bears, so you can get any one of these ones, and this is ultra rare. Ooh. So that Body um, bag. frostbite, two fur, yeah. Franken bear, yeah. zombat. Look, you remember all the names. Um, mm. Moeto bear, Moeto, and uh, the one that Dolly. the one that drank her own blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, That's pretty cool. So 
the, we continue in line with more coffin based dead bear. Yeah. This is fun packaging. Smaller yeah. scale, which I do like this is as fun well. packaging. I uh, really do appreciate these boxes. Um, little smaller versions of the same bears. Uh, we got Zumb Bear. We got Two Fur as well. I love that name. Actually, it's adorable. I actually think these ones look better in the scale. Oh, so yeah, too. it's really cute. Uh, Reminds me of the Two whole Face. Package is quite good. Franken Bear. So good. So what's on the cards? Was it telling you uh, any kind of information no, about them? No, so it's not so much an autopsy report okay. because they're not a body bag so gotcha. much. Gotcha, they're, they're already uh, dead. They're already dead. So they're done. I, I think it's more what would be on their tombstone. Yeah, uh, okay. But it, it covers things like smell and loves and weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's kind of fun. Like we got Bones here. His smell is milk, loves sparkly Ew. socks, weakness is strong winds. <laughs> And it comes with like a little description. So you'll hear him coming before you see him, rattling and wheezing. Bones is just trying to keep it together. He looks terrifying, but it can be pretty friendly. Mm. Um, Dolly smells Start like sneezing. chlorine. Oh, that's not a good start. Yeah, we got Muerto Be here again. Muerto Be, Muerto Be. Yeah. Oh, I love him, adorable. Uh, frostbite smells like fish. <laughs> we have Howler here it as smells well. Smells like... That's all I care about. Uh, bacon, loves yeah. doll heads, Ooh. weakness, fire. Uh, no, vampire, vamp, vamp bear smells like steak. Yep. Steak and bacon, Did those we do two will go together well. Have we seen Zombat yet? Open it up. Okay. All right, check it out. Zombat, tar and licorice, loves nighttime, weaknesses, brightness. I think it's all of them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, These are cool. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, Daddy Bears. Daddy bears, yeah. For Very. those who are like a little bit more of a spooky situation in their um, soft. Yeah. Well, we haven't uh, had spooky situations toy. for a while. Yeah. Uh, they're afoot. They they're are, afoot. They're definitely afoot. Spooky situations are afoot. Whoop. And speaking of spooky situations, though, Ooh. let's check out this replica from NECA. Yep, it's great. Um, it's exactly as you would uh, have seen it. Life size uh, replica of the face hugger from Alien. Um, it is anatomically correct. Anatomically correct, and um, will make you not want to do the face hugger gag bit because. Well, maybe it will. Look. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it will. Um, it does so have like bendy fingers too. Can you, which can is you just cool. give us a quick demo demo of like how it kind of how you would do it if you say say if you did want to put do it. So how would you do it? You can. Um, yeah, so the tail curls around tail the neck, right, to kind of like choke you out. Yeah, and then it's this. And then that those like hook over the top, right? Like, yeah. So and those then hook over, and then the, the bits the rest go in The kind of comes around, and you're like... Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then, it, and then the eggs shoot down your throat. Yep. And then um, nine months later... Life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> An alien is born. Like nine hours later. Yeah. John Hurt be hurting in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, yeah. Anyway, from Necker, it's really fun. Life size replica. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Wraps around your Necker. So <laughs> check it out. We got some little plushies from Toy Animation chop, chop, chop. here. Um, I'm just really appreciating this spelling, by the way. Toy Animation. Toy. 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 This is a bit toy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got Chopper from One Piece. This is actually a bag. Uh -huh. like, yeah, isn't it cool? It's like a crossbody bag, so you can have him hanging out with you. So it's like he's <laughs> giving you a little cuddle. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's another one there too of a different character from One Piece. Um, oh, that's terrifying! Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got he's that, got that one's definitely there. a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> it's so spooky, but yeah, it's got like straps there for you to put it on. <laughs> you've got uh, some storage inside oh, here and everything storage. too, and you've got storage. In uh, little backpack. Chop yeah, Tony Tony Chopper's little backpack. How good is that? It's so adorable. Uh, <laughs> we got a couple One Piece uh, hat accessories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you look like the generic white guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, we got a uh, we got a chopper hat here, uh, which is fun, and then we've got. Um, oh no, this is the which, one. Which this is, is this is this is generic yeah, yeah, yeah. white. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dance Amazing. Here. You look like you should conduct a train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Future, oh, yeah. later, virtual insanity. <laughs> Amazing. Always. 
Oh no. my oh god. god. No, no, no. Now it's getting now it's going places we don't want it to. Ooh. Can you gyrate somewhere else? <laughs> oh, those are cool. Yeah. We also have They're a... comfy, they look really comfy. Mm. Who have you got? Yeah, I have Chop <laughs> Tony Tony Chopper again in like a very fancy looking coat. It's not like got fairy some, floss or something. Yeah, yeah, fairy floss and yeah, he's pretty cute. Woo! He's very top heavy as well. And you mm. can also hang him, which is pretty neat. Oh yeah. 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 Checks out. Pretty neat. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Tony Chop Chop. It's really big keychain. Um Yeah. From Funko, we've got some fun things. Let's take a look. Here is uh, an advent calendar. Get it nice and early for Christmas. This is Pixar. So you might be thinking, what includes this? Well, it's movies like Monsters, um, Inc., uh, Wall E, Incredibles, Toy Story, and more. Uh, maybe not more, but maybe Give more. Give us a little flip, flippity flop. So, uh, so 24 uh, little. Windows yep. on this gingerbread house for you to open. 25th being Christmas Day. Well, yeah, so you start this on the first day of Advent, yep. and then you see it through to Christmas, and then uh, every day you get a little treat, a little sweet treat, a uh, little Pixar pocket pop. Uh, Woody, uh, Eve, yep. Sally. Um, Mr. It's good that they're releasing these now. It's incredible in a, in a hat, the fringe threw me off there. Because, uh, you know, things get busy around the holiday season, and you don't want to be like, Ordering these like in the middle, like no, no, no. so close July to is the right time to get it. Yeah, um, get it now. Get ahead, ahead of the rush, folks. So, so go and get it. Uh, we got some pop culture exclusive releases. Let's take a look. This week we have Frodo with the orc helmet, uh, only available from us. Here's Frodo. Uh, he's dirty. Uh, he's mm, wearing dirty orc little attire boy. as he sneaks into Mordor, yep. and um, he's got a helmet there which is nice and detailed, but uh, not in scale with his head. Um, because fine. you otherwise would not be able to hold it. Um, so that's, yep, that's little cool. Fingies. Uh, we also have another fun release. Here we have uh, Battle Damaged Wolverine uh, Brown Suit. Uh, now, Brown Suit uh, is worn in the original Wolverine solo comic, uh, which takes place in Japan. Uh, one of the more iconic um, suits to be worn. It's my favourite Wolverine suit. I'm a big sucker for brown and uh, yellow as a colour option. Um, so I'm that's, sure you're a big sucker for brown. I'm a big sucker for some yeah. brown. <laughs> um, yeah. Brown and yellow. Really fluids. What? Uh, and um, <laughs> wow, Bianca. <laughs> hey, you're the one that's talking in that I'm tone. Not. You're implying <laughs> bad thoughts. What's Wolverine! Woo! <laughs> wearing, wearing autumnal tones. I don't know what Bianca's implying. <laughs> um, anyway, only available from us. We're giving these two away today, so if you want to win, just leave a comment on the feed because Jess is looking for names for people who are leaving mm. comments on mm. the feed to mm. run on the prize mm. wheel mm. at the end. Yeah, so pretty. we spin the wheel. People win prizes. It's really, really fun. Um, we have a new Blacklight Slurpee at Icon Pops. It is the uh, Slurpee uh, Slurpee. I want to drink it. That's right. I the, drink the mascotless <laughs> Slurpee. It's, it's just a Slurpee. With his well, tongue out. Brain. With a tongue out. Because he's slurping himself up. <laughs> um, God. Gotta catch them drips. Better catch them drips. Uh, but I really do like the... Uh, so he's got 7-Eleven logo on there, which is cool. And um, I like the... Kind of like the colour treatment. Mm. Uh, keeps the Slurpee design of it on there. Um, and that is a toxic colour. Yep. Um, Delicious. Really cool. I look at it and I can taste it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've What's never noticed the Slurpee logo before, but it's got a little, like, um, yeah, little, little flick at the end where it, where yeah, it drops yeah, out the, the little machine. Whip, the little Mr. Whippy like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's everyone's favourite flavour of Slurpee? Um, All of them together. Brown, apparently. Um, <laughs> I like cola too. <laughs> cola is good. Cola um, is good. Cola and raspberry together. Yes. So, yes. Funny line that uh, Disney doing this year is Stitch in costume, where Stitch um, takes on the costumes of uh, other Pixar or Disney um, characters, which is which is fun. Um, you might call it a stitch up. You would call it a stitch up oh. if one was to do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have a diamond glitter variant of Stitch as the Cheshire Cat here, which is Stitch dressed up as the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Yep, classic um, Stitch up. Classic stitch up. Do not know where that tail's going. Lost. Uh, Lord of the Rings. People like Lord of the Rings. I like Lord of the Rings. Uh, here we have the mouth of Sauron. Um, is it pop? 
um, nice helmet there, which is cool. I like the little runage yeah, details. Yeah, they've done really, it's all, it's all engraved in there, which is nice. It's good. Um, we have uh, Legolas Greenleaf uh, with his bow and his blonde hair. Hair goals. Uh, and he's on the shield. He's actually on the shield that he uses when he's in the two towers when he's... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, when he's sliding down the he's steps. sliding down the steps. Um, so that's fun. That's what that's from. When they're having the kill count game. Um, so that's Lord of the Rings. And then we've got a uh, new Wednesday release. That's uh, Wednesday Adams with the umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. Like the poster. Like the poster? Yeah. What's the difference between an umbrella and a parasol? Well, um, words. Umbrella's probably Paras meant to be more waterproof, whilst a parasol's meant to protect you from UV rays, so therefore it can be a little bit yeah. thinner. So like a day umbrella and a weather umbrella. Okay. Just Party. Trying, just trying to make a fun interview. Remember when you got the serious? umbrella from the Umbrella Academy? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we still have that. <laughs> uh, we got Zeb Aurelius from Star Wars um, Mandalorian. <laughs> Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and then we've got um, from Voodoo Ranger Juice Force. Uh, it's a hazy Imperial IPA. People love beer and they love uh, ad icons for beer mascots. And look here we have the Voodoo Ranger. He's drinking the beer. He's got a gold tooth. He's got a gold tooth. So you know he's cool. Juice Force. Mm. Get juicy, folks. Get juicy. Let's get juicy. Okay, we've got a One Piece pop up there. Yeah. We have Luffy Gear 5, and he thinks everything's hilarious, apparently. Yeah, he does. Yeah. What kind like... of gears he been on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, five. Yeah, he's been five of them. It's too many. <laughs> uh, we have a glow in the dark mum in the Martian as a mummy. Say that ten times fast. Glow in the dark, mum in the Martian as a mummy. Glow in the dark, mum in the Martian as a mummy. Mummy. <laughs> he got almost two. Mother. Mama. Um, God. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama Maria is here. Uh, Castlevania Nocturne Netflix series. Uh, and then we got uh, the same series, Drolta. Drolta. Ooh. And then we've got uh, Zac Efron. <laughs> Richter. Richter Belmont. Belmont. And um, then we've got... Good luck. Uh, oh, she looks cool. <laughs> Sherbet. Azurbet. 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 Then Shakira, Shakira. Um, it's Shakira. Uh, it's got a got a glitter treatment on the outfit, which is cool. Mm. Um, uh, and on the microphone. Which is fun. Yeah. Uh, we've got some new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pops. These are uh, a new wave of classic TMNT 1987 Turtles figures. Oh, they look like the action figures. They do. That's so it's cool. pop television, but. They're actually influenced by the original Playmates yeah. figures, which feature the um, uncolored uh, weaponry that you would get from the little clip weapon pack. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like we've got the Raph. Screw that has like all the. Yeah, we've got uh, Michelangelo, we've got Don uh, Leonardo, we've got Donatello, and then we've got Slash. These are pretty uh, mad dogs. With a pre mutated Slash, so you get a little buddy pop there as well. That's nice. cool. Um, so, yeah, 1987. Um, it's weird because 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Careful. was created in direct collaboration with Playmates and the toy line. So a lot of the um, characters that appeared on the show were because Playmates had designed it and wanted to sell the toy. <laughs> yes. So one and the same. Yep. Um, but I do really like the, uh, the original um, action figure colorway weaponry. Yeah, I reckon it's cool. great. We've got some sports pops. Uh, NFL, let's start with that. Uh, we've got uh, from the Jets, we've got uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, from the 49ers, we've got Christian um, Caffrey. Uh, from the Chiefs, we've got Patrick Mahomes. Uh, from the Seahawks, Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks, we've got Geno Smith. Uh, from the Lions, we've got uh, Amon Ra St. Brown. And uh, from the Chiefs, we've got uh, Travis Kelsey. 
Which every, everyone knows Travis Kelsey. Yeah, a little... Taylor Swift's boyfriend. That's right. The little Tay-Tay. So you get that. Um, you got to pop before T-Swift. Yeah. Um, uh, and MLB, we've got uh, from the Houston Astros, we've got Jose El That's a um, From the... Um, Marlins? Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't say it on the It's just a Fish team. Uh, we've got Sandy Alcad counter from the Red Sox. We've got, uh, oh, sorry, Miami Marlins, it does say. Houston Astros, Miami Marlins. Uh, from Boston Red Sox, we've got uh, Masataka Yoshida. Uh, from Cleveland Guardians, we've got Jose Ramirez. Uh, from the Washington Nationals, we've got uh, Joey Menes- <laughs> Meneses. Meneses? yeah. Menese? Manessas. Uh And from Los Angeles Dodgers, we've got uh, Freddie Freeman. That's a fun name. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. And we've got some uh, larger scale pops. Here's a six inch release. It's the Jaw Titan from Attack on Titan, the final season. Um, he's got a jaw. Crunchy stuff, real good. Crunchy, crunchy. I'm not and from Lord of the Rings, we've got Treebeard yeah. uh, with so Mary good. and Pippin up so in the good. tree. That fool of a took. Yep. And then, uh, Lord of the Rings, we've got the Cave Troll! Cave Troll, Cave Troll, Cave yeah, the Troll. the Cave Troll. Um, so, get that for your collection. Yep. Um, uh, or, yeah, or, or don't. Get um, him for your collection. And we've got a fun Pop Town oh, release. this is good. It is Bag Bilbo end. Baggins with Bag End. Uh, so you can get a really nice, uh, pop replica of Bag End and, uh, a non-scale, uh, well, regular size pop, pop town non-scale, but, um, use some, um, photography tricks and just put him forward to make yeah. it look like it's... You want to be bagging that one for your You will be wanting mm. to bag on this, um... You may also want to bag some new arrivals from Manesco. Yeah. We've got Ooh, new... Let's, let's Check bag it that. Check it out. We have um, a PVC money box of Eon. It's adorable. Look at him. Look at him. I Where's love how... The slot there? Yeah, what? right there. <laughs> what his little say? tail. I love how Eeyore is Don't always so Eeyore. sad that his friends always include him in everything that they do. And it's yeah. it's so he's lovely so and beautiful. Funny. And he's still miserable. He's a real prick. <laughs> hey, man. Mental illness is no joke. Hey, is that a flocked? <laughs> yes. Sweet. This is a just a flocked little statue from Minesco. Um, very lightweight of who... <laughs> <laughs> With a bumblebee on his nose. Yep. It's so cute. Yellow this and brown. Is, this is so adorable. Hang it's on, where's, so the, cute. where's this guy? Where do you put the money? No, this isn't a money box, I oh, was it's saying. Just a so it's figure. just it's just a little flock figure. Oh. And it's adorable. So that five times. And it comes in a nice <laughs> display box as well, so you can keep it in the box if you would like, but He's so cute out of the box. Fuzzy was Look boy. at him. With so some uh, cute. other fun things from uh, these are from Half Moon Bay. Uh, but they're Disney themed. Um, yes. So this is a plant holder or a shot glass that you have to be really Struggle quick to drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a plant. It's a plant holder. Dalmatians? Uh, 101 Dalmatians. That's yeah. lucky. Um, and then we've got uh, the genie from Aladdin. There's mm. also another 101 Chin Dalmatians heavy. mug. You can't drink out of that one. Yeah. But you can also put a plant in that one. So Look a... for the good spots in life. Oh, that's nice. And we got Winnie the Pooh, silly old bear. Yep. <laughs> silly old bear. And we have a little tray, or whatever you would like it to be, a yep. carpet. I that's what that. you put. That's oh, what you put that. your biscuits on. Yep. Yeah, you put your biscuits there. You can put your biscuits, or you can cut up whatever you need on that. <laughs> yep. And then <laughs> chop, chop. Oh. <laughs> just go on a little magic carpet chop, ride chop, afterwards, chop, and chop, chop. there you yeah. go. Uh, yeah, yeah, chop chop. Um, we've got some from Beach Kingdom, we've got some D stages, uh, some Mickey Mouse themed ones. Steve Mutt Willie! Look, look, I love how he's whistling. Whistling Willie. Yeah, this is real good. They pack so much detail into these. Oh, nice. Lots of music notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music yeah, yeah. Notes. That's good. great. Yeah, this is real cool. Um, and you've got the water splashing up mm, around oh, the and side. And the plume of smoke coming out the top. Good plumage. 
Yeah, um, and it's like got an um, iridescent kind of sheen to it too, which is real nice. Yeah, because you, you could make oh, yeah. it. Yeah, it's like a it's silver it. screen, yeah. right? So, no, yeah. See if we can catch it in the right light. Too. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's kind of pearlescent. Sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pearl. And from Fantasia, we have uh, Sorcerer Mickey. <laughs> this is really cool. Look, it's got the brooms and the splashing water and everything. And I love um, all these. The curly, swirly magic yeah, sauce. Yeah, it's really cool. Magic sauce. Magic <laughs> sauce. <laughs> and it's all coming out of a book as well. How sick is it? So cool. Very cool. So cool. And there's even the axe for when he gets mad and he chops them all up. But then they just get worse. Chop, chop. Yeah. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Um, we spoke a lot about Bustin today, mm. so let's continue on that theme. <laughs> Bustin makes me feel good. <laughs> from <laughs> from Hasbro, we have a new Ghostbusters. Is it Afterlife? Is it um, Frozen Kingdom? Or is it just Ghostbusters? Just Ghostbusters, um, I believe, yeah. So Neutrina Wand. I watched the new Ghostbusters movie last week. I thought it was pretty good. Um, cool. So check that out. Um, I haven't seen it yet. It's a good story. So let's... Do this. Um, Bottom one. It's got a sequence. You gotta get it going all at once. Man, I love the sounds. Yes, yeah, so it's adjustable. Whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> so you can, yeah, alternate different things. All the little dials and doodads. Um, yeah, have like a light up functionality or change the sound or make stuff glow or let's get the lights off for this thing. Um, and there's even like, it like fully vibrates when you turn it on, like when you power it up. Yeah, it was like shaking the table earlier. It was really cool. Face this way, so I see. Yeah, it's very cool. Oh, so cool. That's awesome. Lights on. Fun. Comes with the Thank you. little stand. We we little stand there, which is fun. Um, and that is that is uh, it's available now. Slow blow. Slow blow. Um, from Fisher Price and Mattel, we've got a new little people car, and yeah, yeah. Um, it is the Barbie convertible. Um, I speak English, um, playset. Oh. What? <laughs> it, it makes sounds. It says it there. Oh, so it's the Barbie TV show, not the Barbie film. Oh. Life is a road. That was English. I don't know what you guys are laughing at. Um, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, no, you're right. It does. Oh, sorry, we couldn't read. Yeah, I yeah. speak English. Okay. Yeah. Um, speak of the English, and we got more little yeah, people. Yeah. So too. little people collector. These are more. So they've taken a little people um, platform and turned it into more of a collectible um, line, which is fun. Uh, we've got Alton John three pack here of uh, little people sets. And the packaging on these is really nice. Um, you got this really great um, metallic Ooh, kind of sheen in the background. Like foily uh, sort of foil business. all over it, which is really really good. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, we've got a Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets secret set. Um, secrets. Secrets. Um, so that one's equally as good. Nice metallic yep. kind of paint details there. And it um, has Tom Riddle. It does have Tom Riddle. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really highly detailed uh, collectible, which is really, really good. Um, oh, kind yeah. of recreates the scene on the back where yep. all the elements come from. <gasps> And then we've got uh, oh, Shit's Creek. This is some good shit. Um, which is, uh, yeah, really good. Um, really, really fun. And then uh, we've got The Boys. Yes. Um, which is broken into two bits up the top. So you've got uh, the seven in Boy Tower down there, and then you've got um, uh, The Boys down the bottom. Um, uh, which is, yeah, really fun. Billy Butcher with the bloody no crowbar. More suits. Um, yeah, it's good. It's little good. people. Little people, collectors. Little boys. Little people. We lads. Um, what would you like to do next? Oof. We've got a lot of uh, McFarlane figures, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, um, I'm just going to go top. How are we going for time, Jess? 
We are good. We got about 20 minutes. I'm going to start here right, and down and then down and then down. And then All, down. Right. All right. So we've got uh, from Batman Night's End, we've got Azrael Batman Armor. Uh, from elaborate. Justice League of America, we have um, the we have Superman. This is part of the Plastic Man um, Builder Set series, so you get all the all the elements of this, and you can build Plastic Man. Uh, so we got Superman, oh, and we got wow. Batman from that line. There's his arms. Yeah, they're so good. <laughs> um, we have the McFarlane Toys Digital line, which comes with um, a. Uh, you can redeem a digital collectible with this as well, which is fun. Oh, yeah. Um, but we've got uh, Green Lantern. Um, we've got Aquaman in that uh, digital set. Uh, and then from Injustice Society, we have The Rival. And yep. then back at the top here from The Dark Knight Rises, we've got Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. Yeah. And Smash. from The Dark Knight, we have, um, we have Batman. Batman. Uh, and then from Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice, we've got Batman George Clooney. Back at the top, we've got DC vs Vampires Nightwing. Ooh, oh, he's oh, that's cool. You bloody boy. Below that, we've got Batgirls. Uh, from Batgirls, we've got uh, Batgirl Cassandra Kane. <laughs> from the Flash, Dawn of DC, we have the Flash. <laughs> Back to the top, another DC digital collectible. We have Batman. Uh, you can download a digital collectible there, which is fun. Part of DC Rebirth line. From Black, uh, we've got a black suit variant. Uh, Batman uh, from Nightfall. And all these look like they've come with like a little card. Yeah, they all have a kind of a little card. character card. On the back of all of it, you've got really, really nice detailed illustrations. Uh, and those are reflected on the character card as well. So that's really cool. Uh, and right down the bottom, we've got uh, from Detectives Comics number 27, we have Batman. Good old pink hands. Yep. Um, from his first appearance, I think. Why has he got pink hands? Because, sorry. What? Yeah, he's got purple hands. I don't know. <laughs> it's really weird. And the cover has got blue hands, so... I wonder if there's something inside the original printing of it. It's like a... Yeah, it's probably a bearer or yeah. something. Yeah. It, would be, it would be a fan service detail, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, well, these are fun. Some two-packs. Uh, we've got Bizarro and Batzaro. Uh, and below that, we've got uh, Kilowog and Green Lantern. And here we have some fun kind of collector edition gold label ones. Um, so we've got the Frostbite edition of DC uh, Rebirth Batman. Um, it comes in uh, a fun translucent icy uh, box. And the figure itself is given oh. this really icy translucent treatment, which is really, really nice. Um, all the accessories and the stand, the card stand as well also are uh, uh, given that same icy I'm not supposed frostbite. to look icy, but it makes me want to eat it. Chop that up and a little magic, little magic carpet action. Yeah. Um, um, can you put that away? Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, we've got uh, the nightmare edition of Batman foil, uh, which is got a beautiful foil treatment, uh, <clears throat> and is limited edition to eight thousand one hundred pieces. Uh, it is a McFarlane store exclusive, but we do have access to it here. Uh, in Australia. Cool. Um, really, really nice collector set. Um, metallic, kind of like uh, glossy metallic details on there. Um, comes with a card and uh, the packaging just brings it to that next level, which is really, really good. Um, they don't slide in <laughs> as easily as. Uh, here we have Doom. Uh, the Doom Slayer Classic Glow in the Dark Edition, so its chest will glow in the dark, which is really nice. Limited to only 5,100 pieces worldwide. Uh, if you're a Doom fan, you can't really get better than this as a Doom collectible. This is sick. Pretty good. And good uh, from Green Lantern, we've got the Zero Hour Crisis in Time Parallax Glow in the Dark Edition, 5,100 pieces worldwide. Greg really, Mellor really nice. in the chat. Glow in the dark lantern. Greg Mellor in the chat has compared Green Lantern to be the Jar Jar Binks of DC. Ooh. Well, <laughs> Jess loves Jar Jar, Ooh. so she's just she's gonna be all about the Green Lantern now. Uh, uh, wow. Batman, the animated series. We've got uh, Jim Gordon here. Uh, this is a collector set. 
as well. You can get Ooh. you can build and lock up um, by collecting all four of these pieces. God, I love um, the style of this show. So you get lock up shoulders there, which is cool, and his head. Um, so yeah, yeah, the art design on these, oh, those glasses are incredible. That's great. Um, Some tasty frames. That's tasty frames. That's, that's a man who appreciates um, brown as well. <laughs> uh, we got James Gordon uh, from Batman the Animated Series. We've got uh, uh, the we've got Batman um, with uh, interchangeable heads there. Um, another piece of lockup. Another piece of lockup. Um, and then we've got uh, the Joker with the hat. That's great. I love that figure. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Uh, and finally, uh, if you want to complete your lockup collection, uh, you can grab the Riddler. Pants. Pants. Really, really fun character design translated beautifully in that. Hey, Excellent speaking stuff. of pants. Or no pants. Yeah. We have this really cool uh, season pass variant of uh, Cammy that's come in. Uh, there's a couple of other variants of this where she's in her traditional, you know, militant colours, right? In With nothing. the green and the black. What are you saying in? <laughs> Cam there's a red bikinis. version that's just landed too, and we also have this white version. Yeah. Both pretty cute. Um, my favourite part of the whole piece is this little toitle. Yeah, the turtle's cool. Yeah, turtle's All right. Well, really now good. I can't say the turtle's my favourite part. Uh, so what's so your favourite part? Something. <laughs> Question the bananas. Um, the bananas. So if you're looking at this from the front, <laughs> uh, the ponytails are hidden behind the arms, and it looks like she's holding two little bunches of bananas. Uh, and I, I like that detail. Thanks a bunch. She's a potassium um, queen. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, She's pretty cool. This is the white variant. Um, <laughs> so we've got uh, a beach scene. She's dipping her toes in the water. Deep in the water. Dip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's got some uh, some camouflage treatment uh, paint on her various limbs, um, and then um, the we have the um, the reeds on the on the sand dune, which is really nice. Um, and a butt. <laughs> it's got a nice butt. Good job, Cammy. Uh, from Hot Tellers, we've got and some a really fun. small hat. That's from PCS, part of the Street Fighter lineup. Yeah. Uh, there are three variants of this statue. This is the Season Pass variant. There is also a red variant and the original green colorway. Yeah. All of which are now in stock. Uh, from Hot Tellers, we've got some fun new releases. Let's look first at a couple uh, characters from The All Love and Thunder, a film that Luke really liked because it flew in the face of all other Marvel films. Yep. And uh, for that reason, no one else really liked it. Yep. Um, but it was a fun movie. Taika Waititi was left off the leash there um, a little, and this is good. It's two characters in one because you've got Korg. Um, mm -hmm. As he gets smashed down, it's just his head. Uh, you now have Korg's um, head uh, it's there like as well. He has well, a sweet mustache. Uh, which is fun. <laughs> uh, and then uh, great likeness of Tessa Thompson there. Uh, the hair detailing is really good, all the different braids. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Turn it around because they've sculpted it really, really nicely. Um, and they're all like flexible, individual little strands. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really um, cool. Even like down to the ones hanging off the kind of like the, the towards the front of her hair, dude. Yeah. It's crazy. Really, really, crazy really good. Um, so, yeah, great, right. great um, costume design. I don't know if we can get in tight enough on the actual individual. Braid, so you can see, see the, the texture the on yeah. it. I don't think we're going to get it. No. Um, but it's it's legit. Um, and she comes with more accessories. Heaps of more. As well. There. Like we've got sword. this little piece here. Grenade. And a sword that goes shink. S word. So it comes with its sheath and everything um, too. But look at the blue treatment on there. Shimmer. Yeah. So she's cool. holding uh, Zeus's lightning bolt here um, with all the lightning accessories around there. That's really, really nice. Translucent. So you put that under a nice spotlight and that will really pick that light up. Um, I want to highlight the rune, metallic rune treatments across the outfit uh, and all the individual sculpted elements in there. Really, really nicely tailored and a beautifully tailored um, silkish coat that is wired so you can fill it with a little bit. Love a wired cape. Uh, which is really, really nice. Also from the same film we have Gore, great likeness of Christian Bale. So good. Um, he comes with um, Stormbreaker. 
Yep. <laughs> Slide on in. Floats in in the yep. film. Like, that's fun. That's fun detail. So people get that reference. Um, and uh, really, really detailed uh, piece, accessory. Really nice metallic finish on that. Um, all the room details on there are really detailed as well. Um, and the, uh, the Groot arm handle is really great as well. Uh, and then let's look closer. We've got uh, the, uh, the, the, the God Slayer sword there, which is cool. Um, really nicely tailored outfit. Um, pantaloons underneath. Dirty um, foot. And then, um, yeah, uh, great likeness of Christian Bale. Picture perfect. Um, you've got on both of these, uh, well, particularly on, on Tessa Thompson, you've got the, um, the elbow joints that are hidden. So that's one PVC squishy um, treatment there. Uh, whereas here it does have a little bit more of a joint, um, but really, really detailed vein work on here. It's incredible. The scar on the top of the head. Yeah, really, it's really nice. awesome. Uh, it has a cloak, so you can put the cloak on it as well. Yeah. Really, really fun. That's awesome. Uh, from Star Wars, uh, what Star Wars one is this from? It's gonna be one of the first two, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be um, Attack of the Clones. Super Battle Droid, um, really nice, fun, collectible piece. He's got his high leg glove. Um, he's uh, <laughs> super, super articulated um, for the character design. They've done well to interpret the design of the character. You can bend all the individual fingers um, Ooh. in place. Like it's really, really yeah, nicely. Yeah. I like all the little, like the, the dirty kind of carbon scoring and the, um, the kind of like weathering and bit stuff on it is really cool. Articulation's good, rotating elements yeah. so that you can pew, 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 pew. really maximize the, um, the movement in what is quite a rigid uh, character design. So um, really good. Does that open? try it um anyway really really fun piece uh the gears um in the way they've put this together is all really really nice so uh that is a uh, fun release the attack is clones. he metal no he's not die cast okay uh but you had to ask so that's good yeah yeah um, it's very convincing so the attack of the clones release uh, is the hottest thing coming out of um hot toys at the moment um you're getting these what are now classic Star Wars characters mm. really in in six scale for the first time, which is really 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 good. So, also really good is this Batman uh, set from Hot Toys from the Batman. Uh, Rob Pattinson um, has individual moving eyeballs in the head. Um, it's Tom Riddle. So it comes with interchangeable no, fringes. It's not Cedric it is. Sorry, my bad. Uh, but That's you dig right into his say. skull. You can get right in there and you can actually move his eyes around. <laughs> yeah, I was having fun with that earlier. You're telling me I can have a Superman have a bung eye like me? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, Same my king. boy. So I like my when boy. they I like when they're doing this. This is one of the fewer MMS figures that they've actually done this treatment on. Normally it's limited to the DX line, but interchangeable fringe as well. You can take that off and put something a bit more less bit less brooding on. Um, but why I would, but why would you? Yeah. Um, beautifully, let's look at the base to start with. Um, this is all tied around the bat signal, so you've got um, this rooftop design. Yeah. Um, with the stairwell, um, good detailing on yep. from all angles, which Classic is really nice. Hot Toys crutch grabber stand. Um, character design's really good. You can change the, the, the jaw plate on these um, as well, which is good. Um, really, really good amount of accessories. He's got a huge amount of accessories. We haven't got them out because we've shown this figure in various forms before, um, but we've just landed the version that comes with the, the light um, yeah. and the bat signal, which is a working bat signal. Yeah, there is. So if you um, USB power it, yeah. um, plug and play, which we normally do these. You I don't know why we haven't done this. Um, I feel like we've missed an opportunity to show people what this looks like. Um, but USB powered um, on off switch, so you don't doesn't require batteries, which is nice. You can actually plug this in, use it as a, a spotlight yep. on your shelf, uh, which is good. Does have some articulation um, on the vertical axis, which is good. 
um, and uh, is mimics the one scene in the film really, really nicely where he's, he's um, kind of retrofitted the existing spotlight to, um, to make it work. But really, really fun release from, from Hot Toys. Um, and uh, Thanks for we'll the show, we'll putting a spotlight a, on these figures. We'll do a little spotlight on this next week where yeah. we'll show what it looks like lit up. So yep. check the socials on that. Cool. Tell me about some prizes. Uh, of course, the prizes this week are the uh, Wolverine uh, Battle Damage Brown Suit release and uh, the Frodo with Orc Helmet uh, equally as dirty and brown. Um, and uh, someone's going to win this couple of brown town fun time pops. Who are we spinning for first? Let's spin first for the Wolverine. Uh, see so who's going to win that. Brown, 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 and yellow. Thomas Carney. Thomas Carney. I hope you like brown. Uh, you won brown marine. Um, <laughs> Got. And uh, congrats. Yeah. Just send his prime message on Facebook, your name, postal information, and your email address, and we'll get that sent out. Uh, next one is uh, for the Frodo. Let's spin for the Frodo. So you're going to win Frodo. Oh, I cannot really. Uh, we got Greg Mellor. Woo! Congrats. Congratulations. That's really, really fun. Uh, we're going to spin one more time. We're going to spin for a dead bear. I Ooh. picked this one up first, so we're going to spin for Spectre. Ooh, the Spectre. Dead bear, which is fun because he's a ghost, I think. Wicked. Tez <laughs> MC. <laughs> Congratulations, Tess. Woo! You've won Spectre for your um, whatever collection you might want to put him in. Um, Spooky. It's a daddy bear in a daddy bag, and uh, we're coming your way. Just send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, and your email address. We'll get it sent out uh, next week. It's been a week in review, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, don't have much more to tell you this week. Uh, so come, and, come and visit our shops. We've got visit. three shops here in Geelong. You haven't been to Geelong? Come see our shops then. Come, come see the waterfront. See it might be a bit chilly, but shops. it's not chilly in our shops. Come and, and there's check cool collectibles in there. All this stuff out in person. <laughs> It'll excite you. Um, and Boston will make you feel good. Boston will make uh, everybody feel good. <laughs> um, oh, God. Yeah, thanks for watching. It's another week in review. I'm Andy. It's Bianca. Luke's behind the camera. Jess is running the show. We'll catch you next week for another exciting episode. But until then, stay safe and happy collecting, folks. Bye.